How to Create a Mobile App, Part 2 of 3. In this video, we will cover the steps 3 and 4. Step number 3, create your account. Step number 4, add additional tabs. Step number 3, create your account. Now you will need to register a free Apps Geyser account. Just remember to fill in all of the details. Remember to check here and finally click Sign Up. And now your mobile app is up and running and ready to be installed onto mobile devices. Extremely easy, right? Step number four, add additional tabs. I really want to make this app a lot more useful to people, so I will include a lot more content in it. And that is also possible by using Apps Geyser. You now can go to Edit, and then Tabs. Right here you can see the main tab listed, which is the one you have just created. Now you can add additional tabs to it, which is great, but before that I would like to advise you to change the caption of the principal tab to a shorter caption. For that, let's click on this little icon to edit the tab's content. In my case, because I decided to place my website, in there are the articles I have already published, then I will insert the caption articles. The tab captions should be short. Here you will even have the chance to change the default icon to something more related to your tab's content. Click Submit and you are done here. Okay, now let's talk about creating new tabs. My intention with this is to create a place where cake decorating lovers can find a highly effective place to turn to on a regular basis. So, I will include additional places that they can turn to often. Click Add Tab, then pick another tool of your choice. You may click on More Options to see more tools. Something really cool I will include here is the YouTube Videos tab. There you will have three ways to embed videos. If you already have a channel for your business or a playlist in particular, that will be just awesome to put here. I will use the Keyword option as an example. You will be able to pick a color, put in the caption and insert an icon as well, and then click Submit. Great! You can do the same with additional tabs. Another tab you can include is the News Feed tab. You just need to apply the same process. I will use the Keyword option as an example. I will pick a color, put in the caption, and insert an icon as well, and then click Submit. Something absolutely amazing you can use here is the HTML Code tab. Imagine the profit potential of this tab. You can insert anything from Amazon A stores, affiliate products, lead capture pages, CPA offers, etc. You have already seen that e commerce stores are popular among the top apps on Apps Geyser. Amazon is the easiest place to create an e commerce store selling anything you want and list it under your affiliate links. I'm right now in the widgets section of the Amazon Affiliates platform. Here you see all the affiliate marketing tools you may pick from already optimized with your affiliate links. You can also see which ones are not mobile. I will pick this one right here. I'll work with the Search 2.0 one. Here you can select the options of your choice. Remember, you're creating something that has to be easy to view from mobile devices and that must be flexible but centered in your topic as well. Great, this is what it will look like. Let's grab the code. Let's paste it here. Great, look at that. Besides all of the tabs you can create here, remember to include an About tab. That way, people can find out about you and your services. You can insert regular content by using the Custom Page tab. Insert some content. You can even add links to it. Add the caption. Insert an icon as well. And click Submit. Great! This is what it will look like. This is so easy to create.
Well, I think that was enough for a basic example of how to add additional tabs. Now that our mobile app is ready, let's distribute it.